particular search roles and in today's show I'll be showing you how to make an attractor sphere just like this one. As you see it looks pretty cool and I've been working uh, the whole day on this one and uh, I'll show you how to make it. So for this show you'll need Cinema 4D R12 or R11 or R11.5, any of those. R10, I don't think it's gonna work because you need dynamic here, uh, this rigid body. Um, maybe you can download a plugin on R10, I'm not sure. But if you have R12 or R11, you can just continue watching this tutorial. So, first of all, make a sphere, make it 150, the radius and um, the segments 100. Um, yeah. Now we want to create smaller spheres that are going to be attracted. So create a sphere, make it, make the size down here, um, 50, enter. Uh, now make a uh, platonic, um, now make the size 50 again, enter. And make a pyramid, and then make the size 50, and then enter. Um, now. Now what we're we gonna do? We're gonna create a cloner object. So go to MoGraph cloner. Uh, select first one. Hold Shift select the last one, and drag it down to the cloner. And select cloner object like linear no uh, mode uh, grid array. And um, count six. On the sides, six again in the middle, one enter. Now let's drag this down. Let's remove the gaps. I mean, let's make the gaps between them. Um, there we go, looks fine. Um, so, so what are we gonna do now? I guess. Let's go down to let's go down to effector random and let's change the rotation. I mean select the rotation, change first one to one hundred. Oh second one to two hundred no three hundred and third one to two hundred. So it looks pretty uh, messed up right now. Pretty random, not just all in the line. Um, I guess now we can make a floor. So go down to the tool and make a floor. Drag this down. And now select sphere and hold control, select floor. And now, it, depending on your uh, Depending on your version of Cinema 4D, if you have R11, you right click on either floor or sphere and you go to. Wait, let me just see. You go to MoGraph Tags and you will have um, Rigid Body option here, but I'm using R12, so I have to go to Simulation, Dynamics, Create Rigid Body. I mean, not create Rigid Body, I had to make. For these two, for sphere and floor, I had to create a collider. Oops, collider. Now select pyramid, go to simulation dynamics, create a rigid body. Now platonic, simulation dynamics, create rigid body, and same thing with the sphere. Dynamics, create rigid body. Now, let's see. Now, if we play this, it drops on the floor and they're all random. If you go to cloner and only uh, add a rigid body to cloner, it's all of them are gonna drop, but they're gonna be uh, all in one position, like not independent, just bouncing around by themselves, but all in one line as they were. So we don't want that. We want them all to be independent. So um, yeah. Now now go to now go to this tool and. Select a tractor, make the strength 1200, 
Um, and um, size three hundred. Enter. Oh, something wrong. Let's see. Size three hundred. Weird. Let's see. Well, I guess we don't really need to change the size. We'll just keep it like that. And um, I guess now we already have the tractor, so what we can do, um, we have the floor here, and if you render, you will see this line, and we don't want that, so. All right, click, uh, cinema tags. Uh, right click on the floor, cin uh, cinema tags, and uh, composing. Now here, you have the option seen by camera, you check this off, and let's see. It's invisible now. So, now we want to make a light, and just go down, make light, drag this up, drag it away, right about there, and um, you have an option of shadow. And what I like to use is Shadow Map Soft. And if you render, you can see shadows, which looks pretty professional now. Um, yeah. So, I guess we have the light and shadows. Now we can create colors. Now double click on the materials. And uh, color. Just use whatever color you like. Select reflection. Texture. And so, add this to the sphere, the little spheres, and if you render, we have some nice looking spheres. Ooh. Wait, yeah, there. They have reflection and everything on them. Now, let's select this, control C, control V, and um, so we've created another material. Now, double click on the first one, change the color. Uh, guess I'll make it black. Now, drag this over on pyramid and platonic. And, um, yeah, so that looks pretty nice.